A taste of Winterlude this year will include some delicious food and wine pairings from East India uh, Company. Uh, I've got uh, <coughs> with me, uh, Anish uh, Mera. How are you today? Very well, thank you. Good. So we're talking about uh, some of the. Is this some of the stuff we're going to see? It's uh, Taste of Winterlude. We're going to do a couple different things. We've. Uh, this is our second year doing events like this at Taste of Winterlude, where we'll do. Uh, you know, you want people to have experiences, mm -hmm. so we're doing a cooking class, uh, Indian cooking class cool. demos, uh, and then follow that with a dinner. I like uh, Winterlude, obviously a fantastic event, and I just love the fact that we're throwing in some international uh, flair to it because Ottawa is such a cosmopolitan city, and the restaurants in Ottawa, uh, I think for the size of city, it's an amazing array of restaurants. We've got some great restaurants here, yeah, yeah and we've got a lot of great restaurants taking part in Taste of Winterlude this mm. year. Um, you know, this, like I said, this is our second year doing events like this, uh, but I know almost all the restaurants that were there last year are coming back this year, plus more. Where do I find you guys? Somerset? Uh, we're on Somerset, 210 Somerset, just off of Elgin. Mm -hmm. um, we're coming up on 10 years in Ottawa. Oh, yeah, very goes, nice. Goes quick. Yeah, no kidding. So, here's what, we, uh, here's what we're going to start with, a vinaigrette? Yes, yeah, so we're going to do two, two items today. One, okay. we're going to do a very quick and easy uh, vinaigrette. Um, what do we got in here? Just some plain uh, olive oil, Good. and to that we're going to add a little bit of vinegar. And we're going to add some of our um, uh, uh, salad spice, masala okay. spice. And when you come to our classes, we'll teach you how to make these spices. We'll teach you the ingredients that go into oh, them. Really? Okay. And we'll talk to you all about, you know, all the different items. And this one's extremely easy. You just sort of add the spice to the level that you like. And that's sort of a little bit of practice. Yeah. Mix it together. And within seconds, you've got your vinaigrette. Aside from that, I've prepared a green salad with some mango slices and some goat's Everybody cheese. Everybody knows how to do that. Yeah, that's the easy part. Mm -hmm. And we're essentially... Done. Very now, nice. the items we'll be doing at our cooking class are a little bit more complicated yeah. than this, but for time purposes, I think this is a great item. Yeah, that is a great item. Let's talk about um, let's talk about some of the main courses. I know we're not going to do that here, yeah. but um, what would people be preparing at a, a great cooking course? At our at our classes, what we'll do is we often do things like chickpea curry. We'll do palak paneer, which is spinach with homemade cheese, mixed vegetable korma, the always popular butter chicken. Oh. Um, so items like that all fall into our courses. Fantastic. Um, recently, we introduced this next dish. Which which is uh, a masala chai brulee. We started doing this a one. A masala chai brulee? Very rich, very delicious. Oh, I love it. What yeah. do we got going on in here? Right now what I've got is I've got a little bit of milk, sugar, okay. and a little bit of our uh, chai masala Indian tea spice okay. uh, coming to a, to a boil. Mm -hmm. uh, and in a separate uh, container, what I've done is uh, I've got a little bit of egg yolk, and mm -hmm. to that I'm going to add some sugar. Okay. And you, see, I see you just go ahead and do things like, ah, this much sugar, it's good. This is you not my first time, so. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I imagine it isn't. But in the classes, we, we go over details, we give you exact proportions so that at home it's a lot easier right. to do. And then eventually, you're at that point, right? Yeah. If you're making it often enough, I like that. And you'll find with recipes often, everyone's tastes are a little bit different, so people will adjust it to their own liking. All right, we have about a minute and a half to do this. So this is supposed to come to a boil. This would come to a boil, and what I would do is I would filter it into the eggs. Okay. Uh, okay. As I continue to stir it, um, you want to add a little bit just to get the eggs to temperature. And then once that's done, I would add it to a ramekin. Nice little ramekin. Put it we, in a bain marie and put it into the into the oven. So this is what it would look like. And this is a then fresh butter. you're going to put some sugar on top and, and brulee that up. Yeah, so let's just do that. All right. And uh, pardon me. There Holy we go. jumping. All right, let's go. So depending on how much sugar you like, mm -hmm. you can add as much or as little as you like. Get it nice and brown like that. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Now, uh, Winterlude, I guess, goes on sale this Friday. Yes, that's right. Okay, yeah. so you can get in on the pre-order, right? If yes, if you're an American Express card member, okay. you can get a pre-order starting this Friday. Mm -hmm. They get front-of-the-line access from this Friday to next Friday. Yes. Uh, following that, it'll be open to the public, and you can go to the Winterlude website and, for the first time ever, purchase your tickets on the website. Um, if you want to contact any of the restaurants or uh, the Winterlude website to talk to them about it, feel free. If you want to reach us, we're happy to answer any questions about the I'll cooking class. Uh, our spices, you can find them in farm boy stores at the restaurant. I'll be happy to... This is great for tourists and really excellent for those who live in Ottawa because we've all been to Winterlude and you want to add a little bit of something to it, add something to your own tourist uh, kind of experience at home. Yeah. This is good. I know this is probably too hot to eat right oh, now. Oh, it'll be good. And uh, a fork, I know it's odd, but I have to try it anyway because... Uh, it's a great uh, Christmas gift coming up, events like this, and I hope kidding? that's good. Are you kidding? Oh my goodness, that is good. <laughs> wow, little um, crisp topping there. Yeah. Delicious flavor. 
Mm -hmm. You can really taste the chai, can't yeah. you? The spice, the flavor really I comes out. It's very different from a traditional brulee. You have spices available? At, really, we're right out of time, but we have spices available at East Indian Company? East Indian Company, Farm Boy, Urban Spice, find them at all those stores. And they talk about wine pairings, too. We're yeah. back with more on CTV Morning Live. Mm. How's that?